every day and I'm like, ah, I have so many things I want to wear. <laughs> There's chic. Being chic must mean being uncomfortable. And I think they make a big mistake of wearing active wear. These trousers are as comfortable as silk pajamas. They are soft. I feel like I'm in my pajamas. I mean, it's a pretty big deal. There aren't enough days <laughs> in the year for all the beautiful outfits that I want to wear. Hello and welcome to the House of Valentina fashion channel. I am so excited that you have stopped in today because today we're going to be talking about how to look effortlessly chic. Now, I can't say that I am an expert on this myself. It's something that I feel like I am in a constant uh, state of work in progress. <laughs> I don't have it all figured out, but after living in Europe for about 10 years and getting to to really study what I think um, Europeans just, do they not just embody the idea of effortlessly chic? I feel like they do. And getting to live among them and really study what they do and ask them a lot of questions. I feel like this is something that I learned a lot from and I just thought it'd be fun to chat about with you guys today. Don't forget to hit subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up. I do apologize for the fact that we were in my bathroom and there's a little bit of an echo. I've tried to lay down a couple blankets, but I'm having my house paint today and the guys are literally painting right outside of my studio window and in the living room it's all kind of connected and so yeah I'm hiding in the bathroom <laughs> but you do get to see the fact that I've got my my TV in here now and my dresser for those of you who follow my home channel so if you don't follow my home channel if you're not a subscriber there I'll leave a link down below in the show notes for you as well so you can check that out uh, so let's jump into today's video one of the things that I noticed while living abroad, particularly in Europe, was that the girls just seemed to have this like thing. Like they looked sort of like they hadn't tried and yet they looked like perfectly imperfect. I don't, it was like, what do they do? How, I was watching my daughter. My daughter was only nine when we moved there and I would watch her with her friends and her friends would just put their hair up in buns and I was like, can you show me how you did that? <laughs> Because you, it looks messy, but then like not. Like it's like really chic. And uh, it was just a lot of fun and really an adventure because we had moved from being in North Africa where I had a completely different kind of wardrobe. And of course I'm an American, I'm from Atlanta. And that, so I had all of these different wardrobes that had come before me. And then suddenly I found myself in Copenhagen, Denmark, where they're very chic. Uh, and they really love, they really, really love that effortlessly chic kind of look. That just really kind of sums them up. And so it was quite an adventure, just kind of, just watching what they were doing and try to emulate some of the things. So some of the things that I've learned from my European girlfriends is that Americans generally just try too hard. <laughs> If you read a book, uh, if you watch a movie, if you read an article about it, it's kind of the thing that everybody talks about. I know this is a massive generalization since, you know, America is a big place, but generally American girls tend to try a lot harder. And I think actually what the truth is after uh, years of research and watching, the truth is, is that American girls aren't trying any harder. They just look like they're trying harder. And I think that's a big difference. So that was, that's the key nugget. I've given it to you in the beginning. I, it's just too good. Like you need to know this. Like let's get this out in the beginning because if you only take one thing away, this is going to be it. Is that those European girls, that effortlessly chic style, it's not effortless. They work really hard at it. They work maybe even sometimes harder for it to look like they didn't try at all. <laughs> which I know is not going to be the most encouraging thing, but I'm gonna give you tips and tricks today to give you little shortcuts and little hacks so that you can do this, you can do it more effortlessly. But I promise, we're, I'm gonna explain it all. I am so excited to take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today, which is Lily Silk. Lily Silk is my go-to source for beautiful silk cashmere and merino pieces. They have everything from beautiful silk trousers to cashmere sweaters. They have beautiful silk blouses. I absolutely love their pieces. Mulberry Silk is the highest quality silk that you can buy. Lily Silk is very eco-friendly. I can't wait to share the unboxing with you of these items. Oh, that's adorable. That is beautiful. Oh, oh, oh I have goosebumps. 
I'll try that on. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna try everything on. I'm gonna do outfits with all of these. But I thought it'd be fun to get to open oh, I love everything. It. I love the oh my sleeve. gosh! Yes. Look at that. I do. So first of all, this is how they do like a zero waste. So they use all their scraps and they make things oh, like I the mask, eye mask, scrunchies, and they're beautiful. Feel that. Oh, I have these, yeah. like this is like my thing. Cause this is better than a rubber band because if you use a rubber band, it's gonna tear your hair out. Cause I use a rubber band all the time. You shouldn't use a rubber band. Probably I shouldn't. completely stopped. Yeah. I only use these. Oh. That has you written. Look at oh, so oh, oh my gosh. And you know, those silk blouses, they just yeah. go with everything, don't they? They really do. do. Wear them. Exquisite. Wear <gasps> That's so cool. Wow. Oh, yes. yes. And they're wide leg. Look at this. Oh, I love oh that. Oh my god. That is you. <laughs> Oh, they all go coordinate so well Every together. Every coordinate. Yeah. Sleeve. Oh, you had yes. the one that was sleeveless. Yeah. But they oh, sent me the really one with the, with the sleeve. Look how pretty that is in like yes. a navy. Yeah, that's pretty. That's oh, it is. Beautiful. Is it navy? It's navy. It is. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, I'm just dying. I feel so spoiled. <laughs> you should. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, it is. I love the sleeve on that. I can't yeah, wait to like you to try it on and create yes. lots of outfits. I can picture it with like the silk trousers. Like with the leggings, like I have on, like leggings yeah, and boots. Yeah, you need that one. With like this little sweater. Yes. And then like blazers. Yeah. Well, you know, That's... it's been fun. Quick, <laughs> 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 come on. That's cute. This is so oh, yeah, that so soft. <laughs> I'm so giddy. <laughs> I'll be showing each of the pieces in the video, how to style them up and how to create effortlessly chic looks with each of them. But I've got to tell you, I've been wearing these pieces and they are extraordinary. I'm so excited. I feel so cozy in them and I'm just delighted. So go to lilysilk.com and get an extra 12% off Lily Silk everything coupon code, which is 12HOV. Or they've also got the special sales for women's apparel and sleepwear where you can buy one, get one 25% off with the code 25 H -O -V. Thank you again to Lily Silk for being our video sponsor and let's chat some more about how to be effortlessly chic. So what are they doing that makes it look so effortless? Well, one of the things that they do is that they always have their nails cared for. Some girls like to have them painted. Some girls just like to have them, you know, clear coat or just manicured but not painted but they always have their nails looking in good order. I think that's really, really important. They always take good care of their bodies. They take good care of their nails. They take really good care of their skin. Effortlessly Chic is all about literally making everything that you've been given look as good as possible. So if you look at a lot of the French girls, if you watch a lot of their, like if you watch shows or if you watch interviews with them, they'll tell you they spend about 75% of their time uh, doing their skincare and maybe 25% doing makeup. And I felt like my Scandinavian girlfriends were a lot like that. I also think that taking care of your hair is really important. That look does not happen by having hair that's really dry, that's really brittle. They take really good care of their hair and they fix their hair. They don't just roll out of bed. I thought that's what they were doing. So for a little while I went through a phase where I just roll out of bed and not even brush my hair and I'm like, it's effortlessly chic. And I'm like, no, it just looks messy. <laughs> and you're missing out on all the benefits of actually brushing your hair and getting all the oils into it and rejuvenating it. So I have learned, actually, they fix their hair. And they they may not fix it as much as we do and spray as much stuff in it and, and try to make it look like they've done a lot. I feel like so often we, we want it to look like we did something. <laughs> We don't want people to think that we didn't do something to come and meet them. Well, this little set goes a long way. Um, so yeah, I think that taking care of your hair, taking care of your skin and your nails, like really taking care of yourself first. In think about it from being inside out. Take your vitamins, take care of your skin, take care of your nails, and it's gonna take you a really long way. Now, let's get into what you really came for, because let's be honest, you're really here to know what the outfits are. At least that's the part that I'm like, that's what I wanna know. How do you make those outfits look so effortlessly chic? Well, one of the things that I noticed, especially while living in Europe, is that there's no closet storage. <laughs> I had three feet of hanging space in my home in Copenhagen. 
So when it came time to put something into my closet, I had to be very selective about what I was putting into my closet. A lot like those capsule wardrobes that you hear people talking about, this idea that every single thing in your wardrobe can mix and match with everything in it. I think that's kind of hard to do and that can kind of actually it causes a lot of stress. It can stress me out. I'm like, that is too much pressure. <laughs> what if this sweater doesn't go with one of the pair of pants that I've picked out? Like that's too much. But I do think that having a neutral wardrobe filled with what I would consider basic staple pieces, classic, like especially for right now, it's fall, winter, having beautiful classic turtlenecks, having beautiful classic sweaters, having classic uh, tops. Having a great blazer, a great coat, uh, I think having a good bag is really important. I've got one that I have bought that pretty much goes with almost everything. I think that the YSL bags are incredible. The quality is insane. You really are getting a better piece when you invest your money in a YSL bag. They are amazing. And this is the kind of bag that can go with almost every single outfit. I think having two neutral bags in your wardrobe is where you have to kind of start. I think that investing in something that's made of better quality is also really important because a lot of times people just want to buy whatever the least expensive item is. And that is not always going to be the thing that costs you the least amount. Sometimes you end up having a better cost per wear when you buy something that's really going to last you a long time. It's going to really create a beautiful chic look for you in your outfits, right? We're, we're looking for that effortless chic kind of look. So even if you want to pair a bag like this with a pair of jeans and a t-shirt, it's going to elevate the look immediately. I think your shoes are another part that are really important. So for fall, winter, here in Atlanta, we do wear sandals still. Uh, we wear a lot of sandals still. I think having a pair, I like to have heels, but you can also do um, something with just a little bit of a heel. Like not, it's a ballerina flat, but just with a little bit of a heel, not something completely flat. You want to look a little bit more elevated. A pointy toe shoe looks really good. It really elevates your look. I think having boots as well for this season, you have an ankle boot, a, a, a tall boot, and then you start thinking, okay, if I start, if I do all of this, first of all, in black, and then I need to add an accent color. So the next color is probably gonna be like a creamyish white color. So it'll be kind of soft. Then I'm probably gonna add, <laughs> I'm, I added next a camel color. So these are, this is how I personally did this myself. Focusing in on what kind of outfits you really love. Pinterest is a really good tool for that. If you wanna get on Pinterest, I have pinned many outfits and I love to be able to look at those outfits when I'm struggling through ideas. But I will say that the thing that I do now more than anything is that I use my LTK app because that's where I started to find that Pinterest was too limiting for me. I was spending too much time trying to find outfits that pulled pieces together maybe that I already had in my wardrobe. And so what I started to do is I created my own my own mood boards so that I could see the outfits that I wanted to put together, a piece that I hadn't worn in a while, and I was able to go to my LTK app, open it up, and get immediately and get immediate ideas on well, how to use that black turtleneck or how to use a black leather pair of pants. Because I think those basics like that, a, a beautiful classic trouser, a, a leather a pair of faux leather pants, uh, maybe a great jean. Those are things that you can take and mix and match over and over and it's effortless. You already know that it's gonna work with everything you have in your wardrobe. I think this sweater is a perfect example of a great piece that really just helps me to, it makes me feel effortlessly chic. I don't know if I look effortlessly chic 100%, but I know I feel like that. And I feel like a, a piece like this is one of those that I'm just gonna grab a million times out of my wardrobe. And it looks great with these uh, beautiful black trousers. All of these items are from our video sponsor for today, which is Lily Silk. Uh, you guys know if you follow my home channel, I've been wearing Lily Silk for years. I absolutely love their pieces. They have gorgeous, high quality pieces that are still at a really affordable price. Their silk pieces are made with mulberry silk, which is the highest quality silk. They use Mongolian cashmere and they, I love this company because they focus on zero waste. These are so good for your hair. It doesn't tear your hair. Again, we're trying to be effortlessly chic. So these are the things that I've focused on is trying not to tear my hair out with a, a rubber band in it. Um, these are the best. 
I asked them, I was like, please, I can't find mine. Can you please send these in the package? And so they very kindly sent me an extra set. And then I found my other one. So um, my daughter steals them. My mom is always like, oh, can I have one of those? I mean, they are the best. They really are. Uh, gift idea for the holidays. <laughs> They're amazing. Uh, but Lily Silk really does an incredible job. Um, they really, it's a great company for building out a classic wardrobe that will help you to be effortlessly chic. So today I have on this beautiful sweater by them. I love the fact that I'm able to use a couple little styling hacks. I've got it kind of half tucked. I think that gives that sort of effortless chic kind of look. Uh, I also push the sleeves up. And again, it's just a little styling hack. A lot of times I'll put my hands in my pockets and it just adds a little casualness. Uh, these silk trousers from them are unbelievable. You just need a pair. I'm telling you, they are like wearing pajamas. I love the wide leg on them. I think that they are absolutely stunning, but they're so comfortable. And I think that's what's so great about this is being effortlessly chic also means that you are comfortable. A lot of times people think that when you're chic, being chic must mean being uncomfortable. And I think they make a big mistake of wearing active wear out into places where that's not really an appropriate thing to be wearing. I That's just my opinion. I know it's a strong one, but I don't wear active wear to go get my groceries. I wear active wear when I'm working out or I'm going for a walk, but you can still be comfortable. You don't need active wear. I think you should leave it in your closet, in your gym kit, and it's not something that you should be wearing out when you go out to the store, when you go uh, to catch a coffee with your girlfriend, but that doesn't mean you have to give up being comfortable. And I think that's where a lot of people kind of can't make that transition. They don't know how, they don't know how to put an outfit together that still feels comfortable. These trousers are as comfortable as silk pajamas. They are soft, they um, temperature regulate, that silk is incredible. Then a, a top like this just goes with these trousers. It's really soft, it's really cozy. I feel like I'm in my pajamas. I mean, it's a pretty big deal. Some of the other things they've sent me, they sent me this gorgeous blue little blouse. I think adding navy into your wardrobe is another color that really can help you to feel very effortlessly chic. This is an easy one. It's basically like a t-shirt, but it's actually better because those silk breathes better. And I just absolutely love that color. It's stunning. You can also, and I mix these silk, I mix these silk blouses with jeans, I mix them with trousers, I mix them with my leather pants or my faux leather pants, and then denim. You really can mix a lot of those fabrics and create an outfit that's very interesting, and yet they're using these sort of staples. Investing in pieces that are better quality is always gonna be a better route for you. I think that's another thing that I really struggled with as I was starting to build out my wardrobe, is I would just buy whatever the cheapest item was, and then it just kept wearing out, and I was getting really frustrated, because then I had to go back and buy another one. Uh, they also sent me this beautiful jacket, which is stunning. Look at the buttons on this. And I think having some structured pieces in your wardrobe also can help create a little structure and outfit. If you're gonna have something that's like a little bit bigger on the bottom, you might wanna have a little bit of structure on the top. Something that kind of balances out, not just materials, but also shape. I think that having a stack of sweaters for the fall and winter especially is a really good way of having yourself ready for the season. This one with that beautiful, look at that. You've got that gorgeous diamond pattern in it, the beautiful neck. It is as, oh, it's just the softest thing you're ever going to touch. It is just wonderful. I love, the stripes are really big in the season, but stripes are one of those things that never really go out. So when you invest in a piece like this, you're gonna be keeping this for many, many years. And I think that those things look incredible. Another color that I think goes really well into a neutral wardrobe is taupe. And this turtleneck is such a classic piece. It really can just make you just look so chic. And you could wear your hair tied up. You could have it in curls. You could be running to do errands. You could be going to, I don't know, Christmas markets or pumpkin patches. You could be running to Target or the grocery store. It's just the coziest thing ever, but it just looks so chic. Uh, but Lily Silk is amazing. So I hope you guys will check out that discount code. I've got my mom, I've got my sister, everybody turn, I've got everybody turned on to Lily Silk. And it's just because they're amazing. And so I'm just, I'm so excited to be able to present them to you today. But let's chat some more about some of the other things, even with Lily Silk items. What do I do that makes these really 
shine. How do we create that effortlessly chic look with these pieces? There's a few things that I think are really important. First of all, always have your items steamed out. You should never be walking around with your shirt wrinkled. I, I drive my daughter crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna age myself here, my daughter is 21. I know, I can't even say it without almost hyperventilating. But she, the other day, was getting ready to go out the door and I was like, girlfriend, what are you wearing? She just literally looked like she rolled around in a, a fit in her bed. And I was like, you've got to go and steam your shirt. Like, I know you're just going out to go to the bookstore or whatever, but you need to steam your shirt because it looks like you were nearly mauled to death. <laughs> <laughs> rips and tears, things being dirty, like maintain your clothes, maintain your closet, take good care of your things. These items are meant to be in your wardrobe forever. And so they're really high quality and they will stay with you for a really long time if you take care of them. I've discovered over the years that getting dressed can be a lot of fun or it can be a whole lot of work. And a lot of it depends on how much work you put into it before you really, you know, when you're getting to your closet, if you've got your items steamed out in your closet, if you've got everything organized in there and you have things color coordinated, when it comes time to go get dressed, you've already done all the work. You've put it in a system into place and you hang that stuff in color coordinated areas. You've got beautiful stacks of sweaters that you can just grab and go. I think that's how it becomes effortless, especially on the back side of this. You've already done all the work. You've curated what you put in the closet and then it's time to really just go and enjoy your closet. Now, one of the things that a lot of you might ask is, okay, so I started with neutrals, but I love color. Well, if you love color, you might wanna start with like navy in your wardrobe rather than black. Uh, maybe you wanna start with some green items, some items that still coordinate really well with your blues. You don't have to, don't feel like this is like a prescription that you have to follow. It's really all about self-discovery and enjoying this entire thing because I wake up every day and I'm like, ah, I have so many things I wanna wear. <laughs> There's, I told my husband the other day, I said, there aren't enough days <laughs> in the year for all the beautiful outfits that I wanna wear. But I see other people, like my sister said the other day when she was over here, she said, I have so many, I have, um, I have so many clothes and I feel like I have nothing to wear. And I go into my own closet and I'm like, I have so few pieces and yet I feel like there's so many things that I can wear here. And I think that that's why when you have those neutrals and you keep yourself really organized and you buy those staple pieces that really work for yourself and for your body, that's where that effortlessly chic look really does come from. I think that's the key, is really just having those pieces that you feel good in, uh, that really pair well with everything that you've got, that you've bought yourself some really nice shoes that don't hurt your feet. It really does put your wardrobe to good use. And so when it comes time to invest maybe in a bag, or if you wanna buy a beautiful cashmere sweater, you know your cost for wear is gonna be so low on that item, it's better to buy it that way. Then it's better to buy that item than to always be shopping this, the sale racks. Just use my discount code. We'll give you the sale and the better item. I mean, it's a total win here, okay? Uh, but Lily Silk is amazing. So I hope you guys will check out that discount code. I hope you will hit subscribe. And let me know down in the comments if you want to hear more about makeup looks, uh, skincare, hair. We haven't, we, we just, it's like a little baby channel. We just started. <laughs> so amazing. I can see all the possibilities of how I'm going to use something. And so for me, that joy of getting dressed, that, that pleasure of creating something really beautiful to wear, and then just walking out and just feeling so good. That's something to me that's pretty amazing. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I am uh, in need of some coffee. So I'm gonna run and find my coffee cup and I'm going to leave you with another video suggestion. And if you have run out of videos on the fashion channel, don't forget you can always check out our home channel. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.